Hey guys, and welcome to this series on the desktop development uh, where we'll be using the Python and the PyQt5 library. Throughout this course, we'll be developing real world application. This course is suitable for professional developers, students, and also hobbyists who just looking to create their own software. Um, it's best if you take this course after knowing some type of object oriented language. Although it's best if you know the Python language since that's the language that we'll be using throughout this course. But fortunately, we'll also be going over the core Python language. We won't go too in depth in the language because this is a hands on course and this is a GUI course. So um, to counter that, we'll be using the rapid GUI programming with Python and Qt. So you'll use this um, book to for further reading, basically. So as you see, it's right here on Amazon. It's a uh, hardcover Oh, it's down. So it's um starting from $25 and the Kindle version roughly $38. So this is a great book to follow along with since most of the concept will be coming from here. Um, but as you see, this book is for PyQt4 and we'll be using the PyQt5 uh, language, the library. So there is a couple of changes from PyQt4 to 5. So um, we'll be going over those changes, um, showing you what to look out for. Because if you use some of the syntax from this language, then you see that it won't work in the PyQt5 language. All right, so as I say, it's best to get this book. It's not, it's not, it's not required but um, it'll be great for further reading. Um, the other stuff that we'll need, we'll need a Python IDE or a development environment. So the one that you saw me use in here is called PyCharm and it's a very good uh, IDE to use. So you can definitely go type in PyCharm in your search engine it should be the first one at the top you'll see that it comes with two edition you have the professional edition and you have the community edition you will just need the community edition so don't go buying the professional edition now because we won't be going using most of these features right here so this is perfect, like perfect for what we'll be doing. So go ahead, install PyCharm. You'll definitely need the Python language. So if you don't have it already, just go over to Python and download and download Python based on whether you have Windows, Mac or Linux. OS and then you should be ready to go so um, starting the next tutorial we'll be looking at variables and objects and then we'll get started from there so I'll see you guys in the next video